Russian Tu-22M3 takedown may reduce attacks on Ukraine. Expert opinion. The downing of the Russian Tu-22M3 bomber indicates an expansion of Ukraine's defense capabilities, enabling them to reach further and threaten enemy strategic aviation. Oleksandr Musienko, head of the Center of Military Law Researchers of Ukraine, explained in a comment to RBC Ukraine that recent strikes on airports in Zankoy, Russian radars in Mordovia and Bryansk regions, and now the downing of the Tu-22M3 aircraft demonstrate Ukraine's increasing capabilities. This all speaks to the fact that our capabilities are increasing. As a result, we can reach much further and pose a threat not only in the air but also on the ground. This means that the airfield in Olenya is no longer an unreachable target for Ukrainian drones, which I believe will be utilized, explains Musienko. In his view, all of this is part of a systematic effort to counter strategic aviation and prevent Russian Tu aircraft from approaching Ukraine. We're talking about the Tu-22M3. While the Tu-95s unfortunately can still be used, they are still far away, but for the Tu-95s, the decision will be to strike them precisely at the airfields. Musienko believes the expert also emphasizes that Ukraine's first successful interceptions of KH-22 missiles indicates that despite the lack of air defense systems, our defenders are taking measures to shoot down such targets within existing capabilities. Currently, the Ukrainian armed forces are utilizing various means, including countermeasures against electronic warfare systems, drones and individual missiles, particularly KH-22. This represents a comprehensive solution from our partners and Ukraine, which is creating additional capabilities to neutralize these missiles. So while we await support and more systems from our allies, we are leveraging our existing capabilities, says Musienko. In response to whether Ukrainians should expect a reduction in mass missile attacks following the downing of the enemy Tu-22M3 and KH-22, 22 missiles, the expert responded that it is more appropriate to discuss taking action to minimize such attacks. I believe everything will be done to ensure that the consequences of these mass attacks are not as significant. We will work to minimize them. This will be done for sure. Unfortunately, we cannot fully protect ourselves from such attacks yet, but the corresponding work is ongoing, said Musienko. Russia is interested in major war in Middle East. The massive missile and drone attack by Iran on Israel on the night of April the 13th to the 14th instantly became the top priority of the international agenda. With support from a number of Western and Arab countries, Israel's air defense successfully handled the attack with minimal damage. Now, in the Middle East and beyond, all eyes are on Israel's response. The country's leadership has assured that a response will come, but its format and timing remain secret. The retaliation will come at a moment when Iran least expects it, says Arkady Milman, Israeli diplomat, who served as ambassador to Moscow from 2003 to 2006 and previously led Israeli diplomatic missions in Azerbaijan and Kazakhstan. Milman currently heads the Russia Studies program at the Israeli Institute for National Security Studies. Diplomat told RBC Ukraine that following the Hamas terrorist attack on Israel last October and after Russian authorities and propagandists clearly outlined their position in that story, Russia has become a close ally of Iran, making it clear to the Israeli population that Russia is not a friendly country for them. However, Israel's political and military establishment is only just realizing this. According to him, on October the 7th, Russia unequivocally took an anti-Israel pro-Hamas position. 100%. It became clear to the entire population, all civilians, everyone began to understand that Russia is an absolutely unfriendly country. If a harsh response by Israel is potentially chosen, for example, a strike on Iranian positions, this exchange of attacks between Iran and Israel turn into a full-scale war involving many countries in the region. Arkady Milman says that all of this could escalate into a large regional war, if not bigger than that. And, by the way, Russia is very interested in this. These strikes by Iran on Israel were beneficial for them now because everyone forgot there was a war in Ukraine. He added,